We're Jerry and Diana. Diana has had stomach pain most of her life. In March of 2021, that pain got so bad that she had trouble getting out of bed for the entire month. She started seeing an ARNP at a gastroenterology clinic. In May of 2021, she had an upper endoscopy to look at her esophagus and stomach. The doctor found a problem, but he wanted more tests to be sure. This is I, and it's Monday after my trip to NIH, and I'm going to the hospital for medical tests. I know it seems ridiculous to go for more medical tests, but it's turning out to be really important. I got a lab result back from that 24-hour urine test that I had at NIH, and my creatinine clearance score is not good, which means that my kidneys are not fully functioning. So I started Googling all my medications that I'm on, and when I hit the omeprazole, the proton pump inhibitor I take for my stomach, ding, 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 it can mess with your kidneys. It can put you in kidney failure. So it turns out I really shouldn't be on that medication, and it's the only thing that keeps me functioning. Otherwise, I'm curled up in a ball of pain. Today, I am going to a hospital in the next town to get my swallow study done and we're going to try to figure out what exactly is wrong with my stomach. It looks like I have a hyenal hernia and but I may have some other problems and so I'm going to do the swallow study and then follow up with the doctor that did my endoscopy. I am headed in for the swallow test. I've been NPO, not allowed to eat or drink. Two o'clock this morning. I want to tell you about the procedure in case you have to have it. This was an esophagogram. So this is a study of my esophagus. They had me switch into a gown from the waist up. They gave me some like Alka-Seltzer fizzy stuff to drink. They had me take a pill, made a barium to see if it was going to stick in my anal hernia, which it did not. And then they had me drink more barium and rapidly drink barium. They also laid me down and had me drink water and stuff while I was laying down. At one point they had me do a barrel roll and roll over. And all the time they had it up on an x-ray and you could see everything that was happening live. They've said that they didn't see a hyenal hernia or any other problem. So I don't know where I go from here. The test came back great and yet I'm in pain every day. So we gotta figure that one out. Though the doctor told me I was all right during the esophagram, he wrote some things up in the results from my test. The clinic looked them over and decided they wanted some more tests. So in June, I had an esophageal manometry, and that's a video I already made, so I'll put an eye in the sky so you can look at that one. So with no diagnosis and no clear path forward, I decided it was time to go to a different clinic. I thought a new clinic might have some different ideas and might be able to get at the root of my pain. Ironically, a few days after I decided to switch clinics, I got a letter saying that the ARNP and the doctor that were treating me had both left the practice um, at the old clinic, so they don't miss me. The new ARNP adjusted my medication, and in November she sent me to have a stomach emptying study. For that study, they had me eat some food with radiation in it, a little bit of radiation. And then they took a like x-ray video of the food moving through, you know, down my, well, it's already down my esophagus into my stomach and moving around. So I would leave for an hour and then come back and they would take some more video of it moving and I'd leave for an hour and come back until I was there three times that day and they had a video of how my stomach moved food around. I had a follow-up appointment with the ARNP at the new clinic to go over the results of the stomach emptying study. I had asked you to continue taking the famotidine twice daily to continue following a low acid diet. Obviously, we did that gastric emptying study and everything looked okay. Mm -hmm. How are you doing at this point? Are you still having all of the same symptoms? Yeah. 
Actually, let me just go back and pull up the previous endoscopy report. I'd like to go through that again really briefly. Chronic active mild inflammation in the stomach and that loose lower esophageal sphincter and everything else looked okay. So no erosions, no ulcers, but definitely some ongoing kind of inflammation in the stomach. Right. So we certainly could repeat an upper endoscopy and just check to see if that chronic inflammation is still okay. ongoing yeah. inside of your stomach or to see if it's better or worse now compared to how things looked in May. Right. Um, that is absolutely something that we could consider doing. Okay. Um, another thing that this could be is something called functional dyspepsia. Have we talked about that at all before? No. What functional dyspepsia is, is where patients have persistent upper digestive symptoms as you've been having, but there's really no overt findings in an upper endoscopy or other, other studies that are done, you know? And so sometimes what we think is happening is that um, the, the gut is sort of miscommunicating to the brain. The gut is sending signals to the brain that things are not going well, I'm in trouble, you know, I'm you know, having a lot of pain, obviously, and, and symptoms and uh, irritation, even though there is nothing really overtly to show for it on, um, on the imaging and the endoscopy procedures. So what we can do in that particular case with this functional dyspepsia condition is we could consider doing a neurotransmitter modulator type of medication. So we could consider increasing that nortriptyline a little bit yeah. and, you know, seeing if that, you know, obviously continues to help with the peripheral neuropathy, but see if that may also provide some further relief to your GI issues. Yeah. That would be something that we could consider doing. Okay. Um, the lower esophageal sphincter at the base of your esophagus, kind mm -hmm. of the junction between your esophagus and your stomach, that muscle yeah. was not working real well. But is there any treatment for that besides the things, I'm, environmental things I'm doing? We could consider referring you over to a general surgeon to consider repairing that area, mm -hmm. but you know that's a pretty aggressive, yeah. an aggressive move. Okay. You know, generally, we we treat this with just medication and kind of dietary lifestyle modifications like you're already doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know what if there were next steps on that at all. Okay. So maybe um, we should try the medicine, try adjusting the medication first and then go ahead and schedule further out for the uh, repeat endoscopy. And, um, and then I would cancel it way in advance if I felt a lot better. My endoscopy was delayed when I got sick in January. We'll talk about that later. So I am scheduled later on in March to have a repeat endoscopy to see if there's anything going on with my stomach and what we should do about it. It'll be great to have the opinion of the new clinic and a new doctor, even though the new doctor has the same name as the doctor at the old clinic. I guess it's just a really super common name. I will get back to you when I know the results of my next study and let you know how I'm doing and if I still have a persistent stomach ache every day. Have you had any of these tests done or are you going to have any of these tests? I want to tell you that from all of the tests, I recovered by the next day and was doing much better and felt well. I don't want anyone to think that this is something where if you go to that test, you're gonna be sick for a long time. So that is a follow-up of everything that is going on with my stomach. I have lots of things going on with other parts of my body, but we'll save them for another video. Be sure to leave some notes for me down in the comments. I would like to hear how you guys are dealing with your stomach. Have you had problems? I am open to ideas at this point. Click here to see the video of my esophageal manometry or down here for a video that YouTube picked out just for you. Thank you.